Welcome to Senior Connection Center, your aging and disability resource center. We'd like to introduce you to some of our staff and volunteers, as well as the clients we serve, and let their experiences show you how we accomplish our mission of helping older adults and persons with disabilities live with independence and dignity. Most people reach the Senior Connection Center by calling our elder helpline. And I am the first point of contact for any individual who is in need of assistance um, in the community. Um, generally, um, someone who is in need of help with transportation or housing or food, um, whatever help that they may need, we try to get them connected with whatever resources in the community that can help them. Part of the, the Elder Helpline role is to do empowerment. Sometimes we do uh, some advocacy calls but uh, the essence of the Elder Helpline is to empower people to obtain their resources. Our highly trained staff utilize the most up-to-date technology, along with their knowledge and experience, to direct people to the most affordable and appropriate services available. Yes, yeah, so here at the Elder Helpline, we use a database called Refer, and that's where our Elder Helpline specialists search for information to give to the, to the callers and we are continuously working on updating these um, resources to make sure we are giving valid information to the callers. Some callers' problems are fairly simple to solve. So this specific case was an elderly gentleman. He was he's 93 years old. He called us to get information and assistance for transportation to doctor's office. We provided him the resources. A few days later, we called back he was so happy to let us know that he received the services and he thanked our staff for calling him back with the follow-up call because he was so happy to give the good news to someone and he didn't have anyone else to tell him the news so we were very happy to find out about this assistance. But, as it turns out, many of our callers have more serious and complex problems. Our Elder Helpline staff are ready to use their expertise to resolve any issue, no matter how long it takes. I've got this gentleman. He has no power. He has no money to buy food. And what can we do? And we got connected to Hillsborough County Department of Aging Services, um, and they were willing to help him, but he didn't know how much his bill was going to be. So we called Tampa Electric, and what I found was not only was his power off, but it had been off for a month. So he was living in his home with no food, no electricity, and no way of getting his power turned back on. And so through a lot of calling and a lot of work, we were able to get some his power turned back on, but um, we also had to pay a deposit because his power had been off for a month. Um, but we also got some food um, in there to him. Most older Americans receive Medicare health insurance benefits, but navigating the maze of Medicare can be overwhelming for anyone. Our SHINE volunteers are here to help seniors and their caregivers by providing unbiased information and counseling them to understand the ins and outs of Medicare. A few cases that stand out in my mind would include a um, a woman that I encountered that was uh, battling cancer as she was approaching her 65th birthday. So she was collecting a supplemental security income of $733 a month. She had received a letter from Social Security telling her that it would cost her $244 a month for Medicare Part A and $105 a month for Medicare Part B and she was uh, in a state of panic because she couldn't afford that and she was facing serious health problems. So I was able to uh, get her on assistance where the state would pay the Medicare premiums for her, also able to help her select an appropriate drug plan and get her on extra help with prescription drugs, and um, everything turned out well for her. Another important service SHINE provides involves helping seniors select the most appropriate prescription drug plan for the medications they take. One case that I remember in particular involved a gentleman who had um, signed up with the same insurance company. When he turned 65, he signed up for this with the same insurance company for his uh, prescription drug plan as he did his Medicare supplement plan. And over the years, as many do, he just kind of let it ride. 
and didn't review his coverage. Um, when I encountered him a couple of years ago during open enrollment, he w his out-of-pocket costs for his prescription drugs were approaching $7,000 a year, including the premium. Uh, we entered a list of his medications and found a program for him that reduced his cost to a little over $2,000 a year. Senior Connection Center's Shine Volunteers touch the lives of more than 30,000 local seniors every year. People like Anne of Tampa. Shine helped me out so much. Before I knew it, I was getting mail back from this other agency telling me that I was approved for extra help. Extra help means you get extra help paying for your meds that you need. As we all know, meds are very expensive now. Afterwards, Anne explained to her Shine counselor that her house desperately needed to be painted, so we connected Anne to an elder helpline specialist who provided her with some affordable house painting options. Well, I picked Paint Your Heart Out. And I'm telling you what, it was a good day I did this because I called uh, Paint Your Heart Out and the gentleman answered and I told him what my dilemma was that my home was very old and it needed, you know, a scraping, paint job and, you know, I know it takes time. I said, let me get my name on the list or whatever. Well, lo and behold, the man was here the next day in the morning at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock in the morning he was here. They came with 23 people. They were here, they, I think they started at 30, 9 o'clock. One o'clock, it was done. When I walked out my door, I literally, I was so taken, excuse me. I was so taken that so many people could care about other people. Like Anne, most seniors tell us they would like to age in place. But for many frail elders, staying at home can become unmanageable, even dangerous, without some assistance. Barbara of Winter Haven is one of those people. I have severe osteoporosis, so it got to the point where I had to practically lay on my walker to get through my home. Secondly, I could no longer, laying over the walker, prepare any meals at all but there was practically nothing that I could do for myself. Senior Connection Center's long-term care program is the gateway to helping people like Barbara obtain the services they need so they can stay in their homes. And I got a phone call, and from there it went on. Someone came to interview me, and then another girl came to interview me, and it started. Barbara was approved to receive housekeeping services, assistance with bathing and dressing, and home-delivered meals, which were necessary for her to stay in her home. But it turns out the relationship with her caregivers became just as important. Even though I can't walk, I want to I want to go, I want to do, I want to see, I want to interact. I think that's the biggest thing when you get crippled and confined to your home, is the interaction. Even my two girls that come to me, there's some interaction for me because they're lovely, tell me about their little boy did this, little girl did that while they're helping me. And even that is, is really helpful for me mentally because that's, that's what I really miss. And I don't think I'd be in my house today if it was for not this help. We recognize many frail elders are dealing with considerable limitations. Senior Connection Center plays a critical role in connecting people to the assistance and support they need to maintain the highest quality of life possible. I think the most important thing we can do is just helping out in those little areas so that they can preserve the things that they can do and, and want to still do. I mean, we still have clients that want to garden and, and do things around their house and, and, you know, be big parts of their family still, and they might just need something just as minor as extra transportation assistance. There's a lot of people that need help, so I just, you know, you just try to put your pieces together and see what little help can get the best results sometimes. And I For think everyone involved with the Senior Connection Center, helping older adults is truly a labor of love. I like working here because we have the mutual purpose of assisting people, using our knowledge, our experience, our mind and our hearts to help the elderly. It's always very gratifying to, to know that you have helped someone uh, and made a real difference in their life. It's those kind of calls that kind of, when the outcome is a positive outcome, 
that makes you glad you do the work that you do. And when it comes to getting seniors and their caregivers to reach out for help, we think our clients offer the best advice. I'm going to tell people to call the elder helpline because they're the people who help you. They stay on the phone with you. They find out all your information, what you're in need of. Um, their response of getting back to you if they need to is incredible. They check with you to see if they can assist you with other things. It's just a great thing. As president and CEO of the Senior Connection Center, you can see why I'm so proud of this organization and the work that we do to help older adults and persons with disabilities live with independence and dignity. Please reach out to us if you know of anyone who might be in need of our services. We are also very appreciative of any financial donations that you might make to help us reach and assist more people. Please remember we are here to help.